guys. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, let's talk ags. I was gone last week. I didn't. I didn't have time to upload any uh, review of the game between Texas A&M and Mississippi State. Uh, sorry that I had that little absence, guys. I had a uh, death in the family, and it kind of. Uh, it kind of put things on hold for a second, so you guys bear with me for that. I had a uh, had a little family emergency at the time, and I wasn't able to upload. But um, I'm back now. And before I say anything else, I just want to say like thank you to um, Alicia, uh my support system, my you know, my best friend, my, my, you know, my greatest fan, everything like that. She's been a huge support to me in this time and in different situations in my life. I wouldn't be making this podcast right now if it wasn't for her and others like her. So, you know, I'm sure there's other Texas A&M podcasts out there. I'm sure there's other NCC podcast out there, y'all, like, y'all don't have to subscribe to this one, man. If y'all like what I'm doing, if you want to support, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and give a like if you want to, but I'm not going to be asking, you know, hey, y'all support me, support me. I think we should be supporting all podcasts. If you're if you're a fan of college football, you know, support all podcasts. We're going through a rough time right now in 2020 with uh, COVID and all and all these other uh, social injustice issues that are going on. This is this is just how I'm keeping myself, you know, occupied by making this podcast, you know. And really, I I support everyone, so uh, I just want to say that uh, before I go any further. Now let's go ahead and get into what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing with. Um, with Texas A&M versus Arkansas. So, first of all, I've seen a podcast from uh, Arkansas fans or, um, let's say, writers uh, and and supporters of Arkansas football. First of of all, I want to say good job, Arkansas, for turning that program around. Good job, Sam Pittman, for turning that program around. Uh, y'all have made huge strides, and actually, I really thought that y'all could have beat Georgia. Y'all had them on the ropes, you know, that first half, and if you really just put together a couple drives and, and kept the defense consistent, y'all could have knocked off Georgia. I was I was very surprised by that first game, and uh, I do agree that y'all should have won against Auburn, you know, so Arkansas has really turned things around and is really – really getting it going right now. Um, however, you come to to, to Texas a and field this week. You know, you come to Kyle Field, and we just got to lay down the law. You know what I'm saying? This has been one of the very few years, if ever, that I felt like, okay, we need to watch Arkansas. Okay, they, I see what they're doing over there. You know what I'm saying? But – they not on our level. If you think they're going to beat us, no. Hell no. And that's no disrespect to Arkansas. It's no disrespect to the Hogs fans. You know, y'all are great fans, whatever. But no. Y'all ain't going to beat us. And um, that's just what it is. Because from what I've seen, uh, from Arkansas, they have a very solid defense, very solid defense, especially in the back seven, very solid defense. They're, they're, they're uh, contesting the ball. They're getting interceptions. They're doing some good things back there in that secondary. Uh, up front, uh, we can run the ball on them. They don't stop the run very well. Um, from what I can see here, uh, Arkansas – is first of all uh 
we are number seven in rush defense. They're not going to be able to run on us. They got Rakeem Boyd, who we uh, were recruiting at one point in time, um, but he has a history of not doing well against us. We have shut him down every time that we have played them, okay? We have shut them down every time that we've played, we've played him. So he's not going to do well this year. I don't expect it. We have a number seven rush defense in the league, and Arkansas has a number 64 rush defense. So I expect Isaiah Spiller to have a great day. I know that uh, Sam Pittman is a great uh, coach. He's going to be able to scheme some, scheme some things up to put his guys in perfect position. But we are a more physical team. We are the more talented team, and I expect us to run the ball all over Arkansas. Not only that, but I feel like people are underestimating Kellen Mond's ability to throw the ball. Kellen Mond can throw that ball. Let's not forget that. Y'all don't want to give him the respect that he deserves for being able to throw the, throw the ball uh, uh, accurately and, and get yards down the field. We got no line this year. Expect for us to make some, some down downfield throws, especially for what I've been hearing from the uh, – from the bye week that we got some young receivers stepping up. We got some people who are ready to take the field and 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 be explosive, and that's what we need. I don't expect uh, us to throw it a whole lot against that against uh, this Arkansas secondary, um, but I expect us to to pick our spots and and we're gonna we're gonna make some yards. And not only yards in the catch, but we're going to make yards after the catch because we got so many uh, skilled players in that receiving position. Anaya Smith, you know, we got Cam Brown. We we might see an appearance of DeMond DeMass. So I expect for everything to go uh, Texas A&M's way on the on the offensive side of the bit uh, of the ball. Defensively, um, Arkansas may be able to get a couple yards on us. I I do see, you know, Franks being competitive against our defense. However, this Arkansas offense is inconsistent. They are inconsistent and that that's been the theme of them all the way through the season so far. Let me let you know. It is the defense of Arkansas that has been carrying this team this far. They should be three and one but not because of their offense, because of their defense, because the defense has stepped up. Uh, they have a pretty solid O-line, um, but, again, the running, the running game is, is not that great, and, and Franks in that offense, uh, those receivers are not very consistent. So I expect our defense to be able to hold, bend, but don't break, and we're going to be able to uh, keep them – in control, I don't expect them to get more than more than 21 points, honestly. Some people see this being a shootout. Uh, some people seeing this being a, a, a defensive game that, that's in the low, uh, you know, low double digits. But I actually think that even with Arkansas's defense, they don't have enough They just don't have enough uh, enough um, players to compete with us for four quarters. They don't have the they don't have the talent and the and the depth to compete with us on defense for four quarters. I expect them I expect them to make a couple plays. Kellen Mond may throw an interception this this game. We saw what happened last game with the tip and the crazy interception uh, in Mississippi State. He may throw another interception this game. However, however, I don't see them them beating us this week, and that's just that's just my opinion. We'll see on on Saturday. Um, but my score prediction for this game is forty one twenty one. Texas A and M takes it at home, and you can look for us to climb up that AP poll even more than we already were. 
You know what I'm saying? I really feel like there's not another team on the schedule that is going to beat us this year. We could set ourselves up for a very good New Year's uh, bowl game or even possibly sneak into that playoff talk. I really do feel that way. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy sledding the rest of the way. We are going to have to come out and compete. We are going to have to make some uh, plays. You know what I'm saying? We are going to have to improve on the defense because our secondary has not been the best uh, as well. So uh, teams are going to be able to throw a little bit on us, but we don't see that many, I don't see that many great quarterbacks coming in the rest of the way. The only things that uh, catch my attention right now is Arkansas, as I said in the beginning, and maybe uh, maybe Auburn. Maybe they're starting to put it together. They're, they They've been inconsistent as well. So We'll see what happens with that, guys. That's the end of this podcast. I don't want to keep y'all too long. I have a, uh, I have a uh, faith that the Aggies will beat the hell out of Arkansas, Bingham.